All right, second match of the round, West Coast versus Essendon. Yes, I know the meme with Danaher sitting on the, sitting on the, um, like, Ben sitting on, like, the side of Danaher sitting on the sidelines. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the Eagles continue their dominance they've had all season. Just they continued, just they were absolutely dominant. The Bombers, they were looking really good, but it looks like they might miss the. Unfortunately, I think they might miss the top eight. But yeah, the Dons, they played really well too, but it just was not enough. Oof. Tim Kelly coming in. For I believe, yeah, it's Luke Shuri, I believe. Yeah, Luke Shuri. Yep, minute ten to go. Eagles, pretty much with a comfortable over over two goal lead, up by fourteen points. The Eagles, they absolutely dominated this game. Oh, almost another mark from Nick Nat. Terrible, <laughs> terrible handball by him, and then he tried to handball up to Kelly. But yep, Luke Shuey, he came out of this game very late in the final minute, I believe. But yeah, Luke Ryan. No, it's Liam Ryan. I got mixed up with the Frio player, but yeah. But yep, the Dons, the Mass. Well, not the Dons, the Eagles continued their dominance. Very solid game from them. But yeah. 38 seconds, it will, it's not enough time for the for the Dons to come back. So this could def and this game was definitely could possibly be a definite death blow for the Bombers chances at top at finals. And then there's the mark by Liam Ryan. But yeah, Liam Ryan with a dominant performance with four goals. Continuing to like Liam Ryan just continued his dominance the uh, <laughs> it's going for the yeah, here we go the after the siren goal yeah but yeah Liam Ryan dominated this game and not enough for Liam Ryan to make the final goal and the Eagles win by 15 points a very very dominating game by the Eagles the Eagles are definitely looking like favorites to possibly, possibly win Premiership this year, and it's clearly, clearly showing. Despite early struggles into the season, the Eagles have just not looked back at all. So yeah, the Bombers, unfortunately, despite of them getting Danaher back, it could potentially not be enough. as the Bombers' finals ch chances at finals could definitely be um, at a risk here after this game, but yeah. Also, I have to give a, sh I have to give a shout out to that Mosquito guy um, on, on the Bomber side. Mosquito's been really good. Definitely, definitely been really good. But yeah. But yeah, the Eagles clearly, clearly showing their dominance in this game, and yeah, just the usual dominance that they've had all season. They've never looked back since, since like I think like what round five when they defeated, I believe when they, yeah, around around like round five I think is when they finally got going. But yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Essendon's journey will go from here. Like, will they trade away? Like, will they trade away? Like, the Joe Danaher thing is just so mysterious, but I think he could end up staying, but yeah. But yeah, the most dominant players of this game usually go to Jack Darling and Liam Ryan, as well as Nick Nat, who's continuing his dominance as usual in the midfield, but yeah. Anyways, guys, um, I'll be reacting to the other three games. To the other three games, and then I'll try and react to um, I'll try and react to Collingwood versus Brisbane if I get up early or I have or like after school or something. 
I'll try and react to it, but yeah. Anyways, guys, um, stay tuned.